Hello guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to change or manipulate the lighting in an image using curves in Photoshop. I am going to demonstrate you how highlights and shadows are important in an image manipulation. You need to understand the direction of light hitting on an object and how shade and shadows form based on the shape of the object. I will guarantee you, you are going to learn something interesting from this video. Let's begin. In this example, I am choosing a human face because human face has beautiful forms and shapes within itself. There are a lot of ups and downs, various curvy natural shapes in the human face. Look at this makeup tips. How highlights and contours play an important role in facial makeup. The facial bones under the skin gives you hints where to highlight and contour. This shows you how to contour correctly. Basically, this is like as if the light is perpendicular to your face, so you will find darker areas and the lighter areas where the lights are hitting. On your forehead you will have the highlights and you will on your nose and under your eyes basically above the cheekbones and all the way here on both sides and then you will have on the lids as well. That's where the bone is basically and uh, you will also have it above your lips a little bit and then on your chin and on your sides as well. So these are the highlights areas and these are the shadows areas basically darker areas so you will have a cheekbones you will have you know so basically if you look at this makeup tutorial see basically they follow this as a technique to uplift the features on the face basically highlights areas and above the lips and above these areas and so on so on the darker shades as well around the chin and around the nose let's let's try to apply this on this image okay so you basically go ahead and create two adjustment layers one curves and make another curves adjustment layer we call one of them as highlights okay and another one let's call it a shadow maybe let's call it as contours okay and uh, so go to the highlights layer bump up to the point where you find that that's a highlights you want to pick it up okay and go to the contours okay and bring it all the way down you find it to the point that where you want the tonality of the darker areas to be okay so reverse this reverse this now go to highlights and select a hard brush and make sure there's no opacity so just simply go ahead and draw so these are the foreheads so basically these are the areas and on the nose a little bit here and there as well okay and on the cheeks basically if you have a dark circle actually you can use this to hide it but this picture does not have it so let's choose this area and on the same side okay then on the, the lids okay. these are the areas basically you will find the lights heating on the chin just a little bit here it depends it actually depends how you wanted to pick up this and above the lips as well and then if you want it on on your neck basically just a little bit just to pick it up and if you want to change the profile of the face like if if the face is kind of a chubby and we can actually change it now go to the contours Okay, again brush so select this is the skull so basically this is the forehead just draw this and then it will have another portion here the portion here and try to bring in the profile of the facial bones here and here it depends how you wanted to pick it up but let's pick it up like this okay and around the nose so reduce the brush size a little bit okay just here just here okay and then if you want to pick up here pick up here now select that and go to uh, select the highlights go to properties okay if you don't find the properties go to window you will find uh, properties here okay now simply increase the feather slowly When you start to feather, see, 
then same thing goes for contours as well start to feather to a point where you are satisfied with okay you can always go back and change these areas where you wanted to pop in and pop out let's say if some of the areas where you wanted select the two layers and put them in a group now you see the difference now you can go ahead and play with the contour values just go ahead and select the curves and just play a little bit if, if in case if you want to remove any of the masks uh, areas in the highlights so you can simply go ahead and uh, change the mask so, so and you can actually go ahead and you know alter the contours as well so, so see the the face is started popping out this is one of the this is how the makeup artist use these contouring technique to uh, to bring in the facial features so simply go ahead and play with feather values and until you are happy with it you see it's nice it's kind of nice it start, start popping out so yeah okay actually we can remove the background go to select and mask and select subject there is a very good video about how to remove backgrounds easily and how to do some actions and everything I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch it see now it has removed the background so let's simply try to add I have a background let's try to bring it in and you see see the difference so so you can actually do a lot I mean now you can play with the lighting values to match with the background and everything all together so you can add you can add so many things now you can go ahead let you can put something on her hand and you can start to market it or maybe you can let's try to add some text layer probably like you know some sale or whatever it is let's say flat 50 percent off just keep it over there see started skew a little bit just to change the angle and everything go well with it okay. maybe we can add some uh, drop shadow put some drop just a little bit yeah just to give see it's very nice it's kind of a receiving you know you look at this so you see this amazing this is this is good if you are into marketing and so on so you can actually do these uh, techniques yeah see see the difference nice let's apply the same uh, highlights and contours technique in this image so simply go ahead and to add two curves okay one of them is the highlights okay another one is let's call it as contour again okay just play with the highlights value just pop it up and then do the same thing for the contours as well now reverse them and then go ahead and select the highlights and then go ahead and start to paint okay yeah so now let's do the same thing for uh, the contours the darker areas Once you are happy with it, start to play with the feather for the highlights. Do the same thing here. Okay, feather it more. Play with the values until you are happy with it. Put them in a group. You see the difference? Now you can go ahead and just play with more values until you are happy with it. Do the same thing for contours as well so it started popping out and you can actually play with the feather a little bit more so you can do the same thing for the darker areas as well you see it start popping up give a little bit transparency to this to the overall two masks see see the difference amazing now actually we can uh, play with it more so you can just remove masks wherever you feel like just go ahead and remove the highlights see it's very nice 
you can remove the background just simply uh, go to select and mask and uh, select the uh, subject we need to clean this area it's okay for now it's okay now we can add some background layer scale it yeah nice so now you if you are creating a gym poster or something like that so you can actually add some text see how effective it is yeah so yeah that's it that's it for now guys i hope this was very helpful if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video thanks for watching